Tank, I got to... What part of your rank is your top five? Oh. Where do you rank it? My, my, my. Out of all your knockouts, this Hey, Tank, question for you. So, I know you said, obviously, you're getting tired a little bit of having to worry about what you're going to do to somebody, what somebody's going to do to you. Everybody knows you're a hard-hitting guy, you're a tough guy, but do you think some of this stuff ever gives you anxiety at all? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like to do stuff that I do every day. Every day just like to psych myself out. Can you talk about that a little bit? Like, obviously, you know, for most people, they would think Tank Davis knocks people out. He don't get anxiety. He don't deal with any of that stuff. Can you talk a little bit about it? I feel like everybody gets anxiety. Just how you go about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, OTR chairs. Uh, a guy that I'm working with, if I want to come up. Hell, man. What rematch did you want? Pitbull or Ryan? Yeah. 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 You heard him with the uppercut. Did you see him out on his feet, that set up, that overhand left, where it was a beautiful like that? I knew I caught him with a good shot. I didn't know he was out on his feet, but I knew for sure I caught him with a good shot with the uppercut. What, what is it about you when you're in that mode where you just go, where there's no mercy, where you just got to get him out of there? I know I really my opponent and I, and I, uh, I know, I know uh, when my, when my opponent Anthony Peterson, a good friend of mine, he started saying that your power translates to 175. And he's kind of laughing that you, you feel like everyone is starting to follow that lead. How about your power? Yeah. You can't put it. I think it's more so, it's my power and it's also my accuracy. Yeah. Did you know that friend of mine used to wrestle? I know you mentioned that when you were clinching, it was hard to get off yeah. of him. Yeah. I knew he used to wrestle. Yeah. And, but I didn't know he was that strong. Like, yeah. I didn't let my, I didn't let my arms go. Tonight, James Tony called you the face of boxing. How does that make you feel? James Tony tonight called you the face of boxing. I appreciate that, man. Got to keep it going. You're taking the pass. You said you didn't care about belts now. Uh, do you want to go for undisputed now? Is that something that's like interesting? Interesting to you? I mean, yeah. I would say it's good as a as a professional fighter. Yes, it's good. You know what I mean? But to Javante, for you, is that something? Not really, not really. But it's definitely good for the uh, sport. For my legacy, for sure. I know they say, I know, I know you say that. in boxing that are coming up here, the rumor changes in boxing that Turk Alex Chief is looking to buy up a majority of all this, all, of, the, of the promotional companies and kind of create his own league. What do you think about that? Say it again, I'm up The Turk, Turk oh, Alex yeah, Chief yeah. is looking to buy up a lot of the promotional companies. He's buying yeah, yeah. He want, he's, he's looking to buy the promotional companies and create his own league. What do you think about that? He's like a boxing league. Like, a boxing league. Yeah. Uh, he's like he wants a model like the UFC. Like the NBA. I, I, okay. um, Would you be willing I mean, to participate in something like that? Okay. Or do you like how boxing Jabari's, is now? I mean, I think he's, he's, I don't know. You know, I, I feel as though he's like, he's, some, he's somebody that he feel like he got the power because he got the cash. So he's like, let me shit on everybody else that shit. <laughs> but he's all, I mean, I don't know, you can it's, I don't know, I don't know. It's somewhat good, I would say, for the sport, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know, so he want to kick everybody out? It's like all the promoters. He just want to lock it down, baby. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, see, it's somebody that's want to come in and bug out everything that don't know really too much about it. Hey, listen, I know you say you want at, at like pretty much everybody, but specifically, who do you want the most? Everybody. I don't got no picks. There ain't nobody that I don't really want. Yeah. Whoever they give me. Uh, Javante. Huh? What did you come up with the idea for the ghost? My team came up with it. Oh, that was cool too, man. Yeah. And are you the ultimate ghost? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Javante, what are you listening to in Javante, you've knocked out a lot. You've knocked out a lot of good fighters. You know, some really good fighters. How much do you want to prove it against someone who's considered elite and the pound for pound? How much is that? 
There's not too many people on the Pepper Pound in my weight class. But Shakur. Yeah, but maybe yeah. Lomachenko is yeah, still elite. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, yeah. like I said, they all, they all uh, opponents. You know what I mean? Uh, Where are the opponents? I'm with it all. I'm at an age. I'm not dunking the dodge and nobody out there. Yeah. Well, you know, this, this one just about like, getting yeah. back in the mix. You know what I mean? They get better and better. When you said about Shakur, like, you know, pretty much, Come on, you know, you feel like it'd be a boring fight, but that it'd be good for boxing and all that. So, yeah. Dude. I don't want to keep talking about nobody else. <laughs> Tank, Tank, you fought in Atlanta, you fought in LA. Uh, how does this crowd compare? I saw a lot of Baltimore Orioles here out here. Yeah, there was a lot of people out here. Different, different people. I appreciate a lot of Baltimore people. Everybody that was traveling to come to Vegas, you know what I mean? She was I appreciate everybody. Even y'all. You know what I mean? I appreciate everybody. Did you feel that energy when you did that backflip? Huh? When you did that backflip, did you feel the energy from the crowd? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, you did a lot. What is left on your boxing bucket list? Huh? What is left on your boxing bucket list? Fighting a uh, uh, stadium now. You want to sell out a region one day? Yeah. No, no, I need to fight. Uh, that's the Raiders? Yeah, that's the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked to Mark Davis today. Yeah. He said he wanted you to fight at the Raiders. Yeah. He said it was an open door for you. Yeah, for sure. That's my guy. Just got to get the right, right people in the Tank, did you feel any rust? I know you was off for 14 months. Did you feel any rust in that fight? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Just, just a little, from like, the couple, first couple rounds, you know what I mean? Getting a feeling of being in a pro fight, like on that level, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even just like, just fighting, but just being in that whole atmosphere, you know what I mean? So, it was a little rust. As I was going, I was like, no, no, no. Tank, you mentioned that Frank wasn't your uh, toughest opponent yet, but could you name who was? Name who was? Uh, Tough opponent? Maybe who impressed you with something? When you were like, oh, wow. All of them. I see. I see. Yeah. All impressed you with something? Because all of them come with different things. Like Ryan was coming with his heart. He was strong. You know, I couldn't sit that with him. Uh, Frank, his brick, his jab was strong. No, uh, I'm not. His brick hand, his left hand was strong. Uh, I don't think he really hit me with a hook. So I don't know about his hook, but his jab was decent. Uh, his footwork was okay. His footwork better than Ryan. I mean, they just all come with different styles. That's why you don't never see me fight the same style. Like what, what about people Cruz? A lot of people want that rematch. You willing to give him a rematch? Oh. People Cruz? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, did he impress you with anything? Yeah, he looked. Uh, he looked sharp his last fight. Uh, he did what he had to do. He definitely can get a rematch for sure. Hey, during yeah, the fight, during the fight I noticed, man, you cracked a smile a couple times. What was going through your mind when you were cracking a smile at me? Oh. Yeah, I said, during the fight, you just oh, you, you cracked. I heard somebody on the outside saying something about, like, there's no problem, like, my childhood school, like, when I was in high school or something. So, that's why I was, like, that's what caught my attention. Like, he was saying, I don't know who it was, but I, I couldn't find out who was saying it, but somebody just <laughs> kept saying something about there's no problem. School I used to go to, I'm like, what? Somebody did their homework. He actually caught me when I started paying attention to that. I think he caught me like a jab or something. Oh, dang. Hey, 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 what's your reaction to Mayweather uh, making the X, the, the claims on X that your fight was canceled the last couple of weeks? Uh, you, know, he the one, he, you know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean, 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. Really? How would you know that? Because I, I seen I seen his people uh, drive by while I was uh, running. Oh really? Yeah. So they were like spying or? No no no. He got a club. He got a club called uh, Girl Collection, oh, okay. and it closed at five in the morning, six in the morning. 
and they still had to catch me while I was running. But I knew for sure that wasn't going to be enough to beat me. Tank, what did you I'm think about uh, the thing with this ordeal being with Mayweather kind of going back and forth with the love-hate relationship? And where do things stand right now? It's cool. It's, you know, I don't really think too much of it. It's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So, it's good to be with him and be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. Bad situations. It's like you must. You GTD want GTD now? Let's say you have the GT uh, GT uh, D shirt. So. Then it's what the winning team. Tank, you must you Tank, once mentioned you that you wanted to uh you wanted to fight in Chicago. That was one of the uh, most likely places you wanted to fight in. Do you still want to fight in Chicago? And yeah, will you push sure. to do that? Yeah. What made you want to say Chicago of all places? Uh, Chicago, beautiful man. Besides the. the Bad stuff that they promote, but it's a beautiful city. I've been to Chicago before. Downtown is beautiful. You know what I mean? Actually, um, it's big. Uh, fashion big in Chicago. You know what I mean? So, uh, Chicago is definitely a beautiful city that I would like to fight, fight in for sure. Tank, uh, you got a message for Floyd. You seem to kind of be hating on you. I've seen posted about the fight being canceled and things like that. Any message to Floyd? Uh? <laughs> we did it. <laughs> hey Tank, uh, your, your coach said every time you fight a fight, they get better after Mario Barrios, Pitbull, Roly, Ryan. Do you think Frank Mario is gonna get a lot better after this fight? And what do you think? Yeah, I think he's gonna he gonna uh, go back to the drum boy and see, look at the fight and see where he messed up at. It was a lot of holes that he, I mean, not a lot, but it was just little mistakes that he was doing that I picked up on as the fight was going on. You think that's that big stage jitters that you know he's never been there before, so maybe mistakes. I mean, not taking away your credit. You were definitely deserving the favor of the fight, but you think sometimes a fighter comes in and if they have a game plan, it might be a little off, whatever they're trying, just because they're fighting you on a big stage? Yeah, probably so. Not probably, but for sure. Because of, you gotta think about somebody, like, uh, somebody trying to knock you out, you know what I mean? So it's, I think it was his whole big, uh, his plan was not to get knocked out. You know? That's why he was moving a lot and things like that. But I knew that, I knew what was his game, what was his game plan, you know what I mean? So I knew that he was going to try to stay away and box. So that's what made me stay in his face. And also, like, like how Floyd did with, with, um, with Zan. Floyd lost a couple rounds before, uh, before he wound up you know, taking advantage yeah. of the fight. Because he knew that Zan was going to get tired. So he stayed in his face, stayed in his face. And Zan was sharp, too. Like, you cannot say that. Frank not sharp. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he came out pretty decent. I just had to move on. Do you feel like you're one of those fighters where they always say like guys like Floyd and other fights, if they don't get you out in the first two rounds, two in a, after three or four, it's done. It's over. The fight's over. Like it's no way to even. Yeah, I just start picking up. I just like calculate. Like you know what I mean? Just start downloading things like that. Like, some of my mistakes. And, like seeing what they got, what, what they do good, what they do bad. You know, once you're in there, it's it's. It's all right watching tapes and stuff like that, but you gotta actually be in there with someone and start picking up what they, you know, what they good at and what they're not good at. Talking about Zeb Judah, he had you in four rounds. His prediction was four rounds for this fight, yes. And off the topic, we got a sneak peek of your locker screen. By, by the way, Zeb was my guy, and Zeb was my uh, favorite fighter before for off the topic, we got a sneak peek of your locker screen with Beyonce. Yeah. Fans talk about it. <laughs> Couple more questions, guys. Yeah, fire, right? I like females with, with, with uh, Yankee hats. <laughs> 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 take, 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 No, 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 not like, not trying to hit on her, but you know what I mean? Jay-Z my fired. guy, yeah, yeah, Jay-Z my guy, he's trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Take, I know you've had good interactions with both, but if Canelo and Benavides do fight, who do you have in that fight? Come on, man. Both of them are my guys, and I'll be a boxing fan. But that'd be a good fight, though. Who's the fuck with both of them? Who's the hardest puncher in boxing? You, in and we, or beat a beat? Pound for pound, hardest puncher in boxing. Hardest of weight Me. You gotta say me, right? Yeah. What you gonna do to unwind? Who? What are you going to do to unwind, unwind after this victory? I don't know if 
fight back full, chill, I sleep. Last question, guys. I chill for sure. Stay out there. Tank, you've been in phenomenal shape these past 14 months. Is it right back to work or you want to take a layoff? No, nah, I got to get right back to work. Probably like a week now. At first, I was taking a little minute off, but now I got to get back probably like a week or two. I say a week or two. And what do you say about all the people that say you had a lot of nervous energy this week just because you've been talking more and more vocal? So people really get to see what Javante is all about. What do you see them? Uh, it is an on and off switch. You know what I mean? Just trying to build up and sell a fight. That's it. How effective do you think the mental games were this week? I can't really tell, though. Like, I mean, Probably then and there, but I don't know how it would affect in the ring. Because people can be like, I don't know. What was your thoughts when he flinched at the way in You knew you had him. Yeah, I knew I could. I knew I could get him with my feints uh, in the fight. That's why you see when I faint him in the ring, yeah. jump back. That's when I start picking up too. Like he will be in front of me. But if I'm about to throw something, he'll come, he'll like he'll back all the way up. So I knew I had to like stay in his face and like keep my my guard high. And by the way, I got this from Block and he just punching this. So he didn't actually catch me. You know what I mean? So it happened. Thank you guys very much. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks for giving us time. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Tank. Happy Father's Day, guys. Celebrate his victory.